I'm Richard Gomez. I'm a continuing lecturer at UC Merced, teaching the Global Arts Studies program. Uh, my field is community engaged public art, and I teach a number of classes that are studio art based, and a number of classes that also deal with social issues and about community, race, and um, ethnicity. Things about my field that are exciting. As an artist, I'm able to really get into community. Community is pretty much the basis of my work, community engaged public art. Um, that has branched into so many different avenues, uh, whether it be networking, gathering local artists. There are a number of community activists and other members of the community doing very important work that I've been able to network with and collaborate with, and this has stretched from pretty much up SAC down to um, Bakersfield. We have a series of networking groups all the way up and down the valley. We all collaborate together, we all network together, and we have formed a group of artists here locally. We call ourselves the Union. It's whenever somebody has a project going on, we just kind of see who can do what, and we uh, figure out ways that we could set the tone for an artist, for them to be able to get paid their work. Uh, kind of building up this local collective of artists that have been kind of taken advantage of for a long time. So uh, the goal of uh, the union is to really establish set parameters for us to kind of use uh, when working together and when we put out bids for, uh, for mural jobs. As an artist and in the work that I do, Community Engaged Public Art, it has been very rewarding. It's allowed me also to travel the world, uh, both in Europe and throughout Asia. Uh, working with marginalized communities. One specific project in Bangladesh, working with the Rohingya people in the, the Rohingya refugee camps, bringing art into their communities, really rewarding work and using art, not just in the form of its uh, studio practice, but it, in its also therapeutic powers as well, which has been fabulous. A lot of these uh, communities have trauma and the arts are able to address these traumas in a really unique way and being part of that has just been phenomenal. And I'm following the tradition of the great Mexican masters of the 20th century, where their purpose was to get work out of the galleries, out of the museums and into the streets for the people. So it became art for the people, to educate, to bring awareness to social issues. I very much follow in that same tradition and bring that light, that energy of using art as a tool for social change into the communities, into the public eye for everyone. A big aspect of my community engagement also involves cultural community events. One big cultural community event that I am really proud of that I have, that has been ongoing for um, this past year, we celebrated our 20 year anniversary. I've been involved for maybe the past six years is uh, our Day of the Dead, our Dia de Muertos event. And that has been one big event that I have been funding and helping lead. It is a, a, an event that I include my class and they work with community, they build altars, they um, help at the reception, they create art and help set up the show. So they are involved in all aspects of this uh, big event that we have yearly and it has only gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and it's at the point now where people really look forward to it and it's become a highlight uh, in our community and in Merced. So teaching here at UC Merced is extremely rewarding. For me, I'm able to relate to my students, I feel in a very unique way. I'm able to talk to them, I think, in a way where they might hear the same type of speech in their neighborhoods or at home. Um, another thing is what I do is teach something that's really foreign to a lot of people, you know, painting and drawing. There's this mystique of, um, or this myth that one has to have um, talent. And one of my biggest goals is to kind of dismiss the myth of talent and approach it in a very scientific way where anyone could do it given a formula, given an actual scientific plan on and steps. Uh, that works really well. A lot of the students I have in my classes are bio, chem, are engineering students. They come from all majors and I have all grade levels as well in my classes. When a student first comes to my class thinking that they can't do something and in the end of the semester, they really impress themselves and watching them and seeing them be proud of their work is also extremely rewarding. 
So in my classes, we're able to do a lot of unique projects. One project in particular in my Art for Social Change class, due to our proximity to Yosemite National Park, we are able to take a field trip there and do some work about environmental justice issues. So it's really important that my students produce work with a purpose. In my classes, I do not want my students to create art that's full of sugar that appeals to everyone because it is void of any substance. So it is imperative that in my classes, we do have those heavy conversations, have those deep conversations about race and identity. And the students leave with a very memorable understanding of this really unique time period that they are living in.